Hey y'all, welcome to Talking Time to Caffeine with only two guests today, Snick and What's Up. And you should introduce yourself, guys. Hello. Hey. That's an introduction. Anyway, today's topic. Do you guys know have you guys heard anything about this uh, YouTube Heroes thing? Oh yeah. It, I, I think, it, it, from what I've heard, it sounds like a recipe for trolls to get power. We, we can get points by it, flagging videos. What? You, you get points, you sign up, and you, you, you flag videos, and you get promoted. What the fuck is wrong with YouTube? Not only that, they're demonetizing certain videos that have controversial subjects. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, like, in level one or two, you can, like, you can add caption to videos. That's, that's okay, I guess. But in level three, you get, you get a mass flag videos in one click. And in level yeah. four, you can talk to real people. So like I'm like wow, yay power in the hands of the powerful. <laughs> Do you, hear, you guys ever think about it? Yeah, I saw a bunch of videos. I saw Angry Joe's video. I saw who else I see talking about it. Uh, so what's your opinion on it? It sounds like a recipe for disaster since trolls who are really dedicated could work their way up to level 3 and just start taking down videos like crazy. Yeah. Are you going to do it? Do you sign up for it? No. Me either. I wonder if our videos are going to start getting mass flagged now. So, alright. I guess I talked talk about that, I guess. So what about your subject, Snick? Did you talk about scalping or something? Oh, we wanted to talk- What's up and I wanted to talk about eBay scalping on old games. So, yeah. I decided I wanted to get a copy of the original Crash on PS1. And, I'm assuming because of the announcement of the HD collection, the price is starting to skyrocket from like $20, $30 up to $40, $50, $60. And, oddly enough, the other games on the PS1 aren't affected, but it looks like they might be in the future. They're already starting to climb. What about it? I said now they're already starting to climb, Schnick. Yeah. In fact, I ordered a copy for $20 from somebody on Amazon, and I'm hoping that they're sending me the actual game. I'm just hoping that's not a person who's going to screw me over. I mean, they had a high reputation, so I shouldn't have a problem, but we'll see. And that's what happens. Scalping can occur for two reasons. One is something gets so popular that people just want to have the genuine thing just to act cool. They'll go and get it. And as a result, less copies become available and the price hikes. Like, I have a copy of an X-Files game on PS2. Around the time that miniseries revival happened, it skyrocketed up to 50 bucks. But, thankfully, in this case, once the hype dies down, the prices could return to normal. Because, right now, that same game is sitting at about $15, $20, and I bought it for that price, thank God. And then there's the latter case, where people think, where parents, um, other people, they look through their old stuff, like they have old games their kids had in the 80s and 90s, and they're like, oh, this is old, it must be worth a lot. And then they all just start mass listing them on eBay and Amazon for sh shitty 
prices that are way too high. Like, a game that has millions of copies out in the wild that should be worth, like, a dollar or five dollars is now being listed for 20 or 30 Yep. And unfortunately, if that in that case, when that happens, people begin to, who want to list their copies of the game begin to assume, oh, that must be what it's really worth, and they start listing it for the same price. And once that happens, the game never really goes down. Is that hap- is that tend yep. to happen with your trying to buy uh, Batman Beyond or something, or were you trying to buy that? Um, the Batman Beyond Blu-ray, no. It just, the game, the Blu-ray just vanished off the face of the earth for some reason because they ran out of new copies. And even then, the Batman Beyond Blu-ray is going back down now that more copies are appearing, appearing out in the wild. Sure, they're not cheap, but they're, well then again, there's some that are being listed for 20 and then some, the, the print that I got, that also has a DVD, um, it's being listed for 40 not like over $100, which is what was happening back when it originally went out of print. So, there's that. And you get the worst kind of people on eBay who think, Oh, a game is, is factory sealed, and it's old! It must be worth $999! Oh my god. There was one time where I saw this. I saw a copy of Crash Bandicoot 1, $999 because it was factory sealed. And you could see it was legit hand sealed by the fucking asshole himself. It didn't have the sticker on it? Nope! Wow! Are you putting that in the good case? Yes, the, this is a good case. The good Does it have the good manual? Yeah, it's got the good manual. Good. All right. So no. So copy brand new factory sealed copies of Shrek Treasure Hunts, a game I, I'm let's playing on YouTube. The stop scratching your ass line came from it. Um, new copies of that on Amazon are worth about eight bucks. Brand new, factory sealed. Yeah. You want to know what price a guy was selling a factory sealed copy of the game that had cracks in it? You want to know what he was selling that for? Nine hundred. No. A thousand. No. Uh, eighty. No. Forty. No. Twenty. No. Ten. No. Five. No. Higher cent. No. Say higher or lower. That's how this game works. Say higher, lower, higher, oh, lower. Oh, oh, oh my God! It's higher. It's much higher than anything you've said. Two thousand. Lower. Uh, one thousand. Higher. One thousand one hundred. Higher. One thousand one hundred twenty. Higher. One thousand five. Several hundred higher. Um. Fuck it. Fifteen hundred dollars. Oh my god. When you could buy a new copy on Amazon. Tons of new copies for like eight bucks, twelve bucks. Who would want to pay fifteen hundred dollars just to do stop scratching your ass? People who want to wipe their ass with money. Yeah, so, rich so, people who just want to throw a bunch of money, find something to throw a bunch of money away. So, what game was this? Way. Shrek Treasure Hunt. Uh, the, the end you're playing now. Wait. What's the weapon called that the shmoo drops? I don't know what it's called, but it'll it drop it and you'll see it. What is it? Is it a fist? No. Oh, what is it? It's like a sword. Oh, it's a sword. Yeah. So, that's how bad scalping can get. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Then again... There's some people that take it to the next level with scalping, where, especially with NES and Super Nintendo games, they'll take a copy of the game that's clearly a reproduction cartridge, not the real thing, and they'll charge it for the same price as the real thing. You'll see that with all the time with rare NES games like Flintstone, Surprise at Dinosaur Peak, Little Samson, um, a few others. Uh, 
Excuse me. Oh my god, stop imitating Shrek. <laughs> so yeah, Vandalia, have you had experience with scalpers? Uh, no, I don't really buy much stuff off, of, off games off the line, I usually just buy them from the store. I mean, well, sometimes there's stores that base their prices on the online prices, which can indirectly make scalping play a role. Then again, sometimes it doesn't, because there was one game I bought based on Avatar The Last Airbender online. It's like over $20 at a store. I was able to get it for free through a buy two, get one free deal because it was $3. The last two games, I, I don't know, the last games I bought on, on, at an actual store were uh, Pikmin 1 and 2. Like, 30 some, I think they were like $30, 20 to $30 a piece, if I remember correctly. Like, well, Nintendo games are usually that price. But the last games I've bought are off my PS4, so I really... So what's the PS4 yeah. scalping prices? Sony's. Um, PS4 doesn't really have scalping all that bad, because it's brand new. Many games for it are still in production. And there's dig there's also the fact a lot of people like to buy digital. Well, you are you a digital or a hard copy person or both? Um, I do. I kind of have a preference towards hard copy, but I do acknowledge digital does have a lot better deals. It really depends. Like if it's a, di there's plenty of games that are digital download only. Like, but. If it's a, especially if it's a 7th gen or 8th gen game where physical copies are really hard to find, and then they're offering a digital copy on sale for like 5 bucks, I'll do it. I'll get the digital. <sighs> but typically stuff that's in the PS2 era and before, I would prefer to have it on the actual system. Unless it's an HD re-release. Which would be a problem if... You could download those games on the PS3 and 4, or play those games on the PS3 or 4. I mean, well, they do sell PS2 games, but you, you not your actual discs will transfer over. This sucks. Yeah. Wait, do I have anything that in could increase my luck? Because luck is what you need to the get the thing dropped, to right? Get, to get yep. the game. You need luck to get games off the internet about, about high prices. That is correct. Wow. I, okay. You need luck to... Holy shit. Jeez. I threw my phone in an accident. You need luck to not get outbid on eBay. Or find a scalper. Yep. I mean, thankfully eBay, there is such a thing as auctions that people never find. Yeah, I hope that's what happened with that one really rare controller I found, Schnick. What happened? That it's a really hidden auction because I I had a hard time finding that one. D did you bid on it yet? I have already bid on it, yes. When does it end? Uh, Monday. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopefully Here's no hoping one... it's never discovered. Hopefully no one listening here will go, go list that now. <laughs> they don't know what controller he's talking about, so Brandon, don't say. Yeah, I ain't gonna say what it is. It's the- oh! Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, Br so Brandon, you got, some, you got something to talk about? Not, not really. Really? You sure there's absolutely nothing you want to talk about? Like how you refuse to get a Sega Saturn cheat device to play your Symphony of the Night on Saturn? Oh, I'm just poor, Schnick. Well, Plus, all children are poor. Before they, before they, the they don't have an allowance. <laughs> no, I, I, the only reason I haven't got that yet, Schnick, is because I, I had to get the... One, two, and three black label for Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. 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 What's up is the kind of guy who instead of getting a cheat device, he needs to play a, a Japanese import. Instead, he buys black label versions of Crash 1, 2, and 3, games that he already has. Because they're about to skyrocket. Price on his shelf. 
<laughs> They're about to skyrocket, Schnick, so I need my black labels before they skyrocket. Are you gonna sell them for a fortune? Hell no! Why not? <laughs> Cause fuck that. I'd rather play them. Oh! Here's another debate that we could do a little bit. Greatest hits copies of games. There's people like Alpha Omega Sin who go on and on and on saying that they can't stand greatest hits re-releases of games. Saying that, oh, the color looks so ugly. It looks so out of place my other Black Label games. <laughs> and I don't know what my response would be to people like that. What? Why do I care? <laughs> When it comes to getting physical copies of games, with PS1 and Dreamcast games, I gotta have the case manual and disc, only because the manual is basically the front cover art. Yep. With, PS1, with other, other games in DVD cases, and especially on later PS3, 360, and all most PS4 and Xbox One games, I don't care not getting the manual. Do manuals even Especially the game's expensive. Do manuals even, manuals are being discontinued. Yeah, do they even exist anymore? What? I, I, used, to, I, my, I uh, used, used to read my old Nintendo manuals, or Super Nintendo manuals, that are actually like a book, read things in them. But then, they now it's like a little piece of paper in it. Um, some games have manuals. Like, the only two PS4 games I have that have manuals are The Witcher 3 and Dead or Alive 5. Well, I guess with online stuff now, you don't need really need manuals, but still, I just like reading them as a kid. But see, the Zelda, yeah. Yeah, the Zelda ones. Yeah, I used to read through a lot of my manuals, and I liked seeing a lot of ads for new games at the time. Like, I remember my copy of Devil May Cry on PS2 had ads for, like, Dino Crisis 2, Mega Man Legends 2, and all that. Yeah, I don't care if the game's Black Label, Greatest Hits, um, Collector's Edition, as long as it's a copy of the game that has the case, manual, and disc. Or preferably the manual, then I'm good. I don't care if the case is colored black, green, red, yellow, white. I enjoy it's having them all. What? I enjoy having them all. If it's a game series I really like. I mean, I'm only getting crash. Well, today I bought the remaining Crash games I'm missing, as well as all the Biro games, only because they're kind of icons for PS1 owners. I figure I gotta have them. Let's see. So, currently, assuming the games I order come properly, and they all work, Crash 1, Black Label. Crash 2, Green Label. Crash 4... Uh, 4... Crash 3, Green Label, Crash Team Racing, Black Label, Crash Bash, Black Label, all three Spyro games, Green Label. I didn't want to get any of the White Label copies because the disc art looks bland on them. So here's hoping they work. And then afterwards, I'm getting a Terminator movie pack that I can enjoy at school this week. And Billy, you're not going to ask about the review. Oh, what review? The Terminator. Because I mentioned I got Terminator movies coming in a minute. Oh. I, I thought you'd given up on that by now. I, I, I thought you'd given up on that at this point. I, I don't want to say I've given up on it, but... Let's just say uh, that... Have you given up on the entire... Well, that, that game, if you get up in your entire review series, period. Oh, man, did, oh fucking god, it's fucking cord. Um, Vandalia, I can guarantee you the Terminator 3 review will see the light of day one day. Oh, you want to know why? Why? I refuse to let's play it. I am not going to play that heap of shit. <laughs> So or a let's play. What other games? Are you All doing? it's gonna be talking over and over again, even with an invincibility code. 
what other games you can re are you gonna review? Any other games? Or is your it, it, review series just dead? To review the Family Guy game. I'm debating whether or not I should let's play. Because you were gonna review Polar Express, then you went out went and played it without reviewing it. Well, I ended sure. up let's playing it. Yeah, that's because my uncle died at the time, and I didn't have time because of the dog. Still, still misbehaves just as bad as he did back then. Still? Until he starts behaving, I'm not going to have a whole lot of time. Why don't you go take him to a trainer at this point? My dad, my dad's not going to pay for that. Go behind his back. He pay for it, but he doesn't want to. Yes, let's, let's let him keep on eating stuff off the floor. Oh my god. Um, I guess this is all we can talk about today. We're getting, we're getting dead right now. Let's see the, yeah, uh, so, let's how is going? Is other stuff to talk about? I, before, okay, before we get... Yeah, um, I think that relates to our subject. What does? We can talk about HD collections, because that relates to the Crash HD collection. <laughs> I had no idea what you just said. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh so uh oh. Oh, that's what the fuck this is. Jesus. Right. Well I guess that's all I guess it was all damn right to our our subjects to talk about. Well how much time have we been going for though? I don't know, like thirty minutes this Probably 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Oh. Give or take, I'm guessing. Well, uh, come on. Not give up that easy. <laughs> come on, come on, what's up? Think, think of something. Oh. I can't think of anything. Thank you. Oh, Mark. We could talk about how I'm to get a PS3, and yet fate just does not want him to get a PS3. Yeah, he's texting me right now, and he's like, he texted me, She fucked something up with her shift, and now I'm gonna be even later! Tell him, text <laughs> my god, okay. he's probably gonna be super bad. <laughs> text him, he's gonna be, oh my. Text him back. Laughing my ass. He's like, are you being sarcastic? And I'm like, nope, he's like, fuck you too. <laughs> the world just does not want him to have a damn PS3. Text text him back and tell it's him. It's like how the world didn't want me to get a part time job <sighs> during the summer one time. Text him back and tell him we're talking about him right now on the podcast. So, what do you think? You think he'll get a PS3 today? Probably. He was going to, but I guess his, at his mom's work, they're keeping him as long as humanely possible, and his GameStop closes like, like less than an hour. <gasps> At midnight? Or not midnight? It's his time. No, um, he's three hours before us, Vandalia. It's like eight o'clock, quarter after eight where he is. And then for Brandon, it's like nine o'clock. Yep. So, uh, I guess I guess subject now is 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 Mario one oh two one oh one's PS three journey. And now he texted me, and is pissing me off! No, Brandon, can you recount the entire, the entire story? Uh, yeah. Go on. So, this is what happened tonight. He's, he's like, he texts me, My mom is really pushing it today, so I texted him, Whoa, what happened? She hasn't started doing the long parts yet, and GameStop closes at, at 9 o'clock tonight! Exclamation mark. I made $17 more! And then I sent sent her a... Er, sent Wow. Sent him a message that saying, saying, basically, Wow, she sucks. She's just keeping you from your PS3. And then he's like, I just realized that. And... He, and then he's like, in all reality, I hope she gets done really, really soon. And this was at, like, 7, my time. And now he, no, it was at 8.13, sorry. 
And then he's like, I don't want to risk waiting tomorrow. I'm afraid of them saying no if I wait another day. <laughs> and then he's like, and now I gotta wait even longer because of people wanting another pitcher of drink. I'm gonna have to find a nearby GameStop at this rate. The last thing she has to do is t it takes her a while. If we closed earlier, which we didn't, I would have been out of here earlier. And now things are on the line. Bro. It, it's like, bro, you have an hour. And that's what I texted him. He's like, fine. I'll see if we'll make it. And then he's like, still waiting. And then, and then this text is what comes through. She fucked up her thing! Now I gotta wait longer! I would have been out of here if she didn't fuck up! Now everything I do puts me on the line! <laughs> so I text him, I text him a bunch of laughs, and then put, How funny, laughing my ass off. And he's like, Are, are you being sarcastic? And I'm like, Nope! <laughs> he's like, Fuck you too! And now, and then I texted him, Ha! Huh, the world doesn't want you to have a PS3, and that's why it's so funny. And he's like, I was pissing me off! <laughs> you tell him we're talking about him right now on the, on the, on the, on the podcast? Oh <laughs> my god, Every, this, he's gonna see this later. But, anyways, Brandon just told what happened tonight. What happened was, Adam decided he wanted to save up for a PS3. So one day he took me to his retro game store. He like he liked a Skype call and he showed me around. But then he realized the PS3 was too expensive. So he tried saving up money by working with his ma. And yesterday he finally got the money he needed. But then his mom decided she was too tired and didn't want to take him. And like his dad like kind of said the same thing and that made him really mad. And that's funny because yesterday Brandon and I were starting our race in Castlevania, which, by the way, I, I we I called it an unofficial loss for me. And um, when Adam comes, like about an hour before he came on, he's like, "I have a surprise for the two of you," and then he comes on, he doesn't have it, and now he's trying to get it today, and it doesn't look like the universe wants him to have it. Who are you fighting now, Brandon? Muzzle Bob. Oh, oh, that the guy. Yeah, he was. The world wants to know if he'll ever get this PS3. The world's demanding oh, now. Our, our our audience wants to know. <laughs> screw, screw I'm going to get. Going to get it. Screw the election. Screw politics. Screw world. All these world. All these wars. The world wants to know that I'm getting his PS3. Yeah. Oh, Mario Super 101 finally get a PlayStation 3. Will he be able to play the KHHD collections? Or Resistance? Or Dragon Age? Or Mass Effect? Or Spec Ops The Line? Get or Fear 2? Or Battlefield Bad Company? Uh, or Dead get, Space? I'm probably going to get Dragon Age off of Steam. Yeah. Track Age is pretty good. I played Origins a long time ago at my friend's house. I have it at my school right now. <laughs> oh, I'm home after I beat it. It was gonna play Back to the Future last night, but if my audio had was work had been cut out on me. <laughs> Anyways, I. I guess that's all for, all for today. All right, what's yeah. up? You wanna plug your channel? You wanna plug your channel? Uh, well, what? Plug your channel. Oh, go ahead and check me out, you guys. It's W H A T Z U P two seven nine. I I do shit. <laughs> all right, Snicks. <laughs> 
Um, well, you know me, I'm doing KH with Vandelia and other Let's Plays like Shrek Treasure Hunt, Stop Scratching Your Ass, Simpsons Hit and Run, I Am Evil Homer, SpongeBob SquarePants, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, where the Dutchman just tries to kill Sponge and then try to recruit him, can't make up his mind, and, uh, yeah, I've gone a bit, and I've not been as active as I once was because of school like i try to put a usually i try to put a video up a night but eh. yeah i still put up videos regularly though so and i want i still want to put videos up a night whenever i can so yeah yeah you know where to find me yep for all you wondering uh, we're almost done recording kh2 and we're still uploading uploading kh chain memories videos <laughs> That's how far ahead we are. Yep. We have probably have like what a hundred, at least at least a hundred videos in the archive. I'm guessing for the Kate series. Yep, we have a lot. I got ramen from a schmoo, Brandon. Not on a sword. Um, Just keep trying. End of that, I guess. Everyone, just enjoy the randomness. If I must, the unsticks. See ya!